one and all to Aeronautica, a flight simulator slash RPG experience. And I'm Carl. Moments ago, there has been a new update being released. Version 1.156. Pause the video to read the update notes. Alright then, let's help join a random server, and all the angel ones are full. <laughs> okay. Oh, they grow so young. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, we can get a Sao Paulo. <laughs> okay, so there's now a Sao Paulo, and... There should be a Sydney one before. Was there a Sydney? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a a Sydney server sometime, but <laughs> can't just. They're so full. All right, there we go. <laughs> Angel server. A two special aircraft, and uh, I'll read it on the replay. Let's announce the chat. Alright then, the concurrent players, uh, this is at 0.7 scale. So for the purpose of this video, let's restore it back to 1. What about autism? Alright, so... Where's this new planes? Oh, they're just at... <laughs> Indeed, a Pura Merlani International. So, we got here a Katamori K500. How does this compare to a Boeing 787?
So it has 50 capacity, so it's like a size of a wider 787 or a A340 or A330. And here's the Kanamori K600. It's 52 capacity, that's the size of a Boeing 777 or Airbus A350. So let's set this up for painting. And behold! Yonapura Merlani International Airport. The pseudo Singapore Changi. Take some time to load. On that note, let's teleport all my Singapore planes. Which one is from Singapore? No, this is by Wikis British. All right. What do you think of this livery? It's um, nine. Victor dash Sierra yeah. Sierra Ho yeah. yeah not Sierra Whiskey Victor it's a 9V dash SWV and there's a mistake here it's the V and W's are switched around but I guess the rest of the livery is perfect and we only have 0.19 hours left on this. I should do another job chain on this sometime. And that's a lot of terminals. And here's the Airbus A350 900 EOLR has moved to where it should be. Oh, and uh, for reference, the Boeing 777-300ER is still sold at Clarence. So they, at least they should move the 777-300ER here as well. Yeah, the triple seven should be teleported to here because, yeah, not teleported here. It's the the dealership to buy this the the triple seven red ER should be around here because Clarence is the Guardian, not Kennedy. But what about it? So let's also teleport the one of my other. Singapore bound planes like oh this is Lufthansa what's the other one oh this one I thought it was Newark or <laughs> Kennedy but it's it's the same Singapore Airlines livery <laughs> and I've sold one of my own A350 900s no no I didn't it's still here <laughs> yeah it just changed to the Delta So here it is, the 9 Victor Dash Sierra Golf Foxtrot 9V Dash SGF. The wings ID is not so textured, but the rest is taken into account. Hope the 900 variant get its own advanced customization and a remodel soon.
I'll make a deep chilled liver review of most of my planes in my hangar in the future. And here are the concurrent players on uh, Eight Echo Two Six Seven One. The time of recording. So let's teleport this from Clarence. And another Singapore one, it's a 737 MAX 9. Not MAX 9, MAX 8. Under my ownership. It's currently at Bill Body, the pseudo Kathmandu Triple Vaughn. This one has 9 Victor Dash Mike Bravo Kilo. 9 V Dash MBK. What do you think of this livery? Doesn't have text though. It's just a generic wings ID. Uh, yeah, this this should be an advanced customization to the yeah you can which doors or windows to close or remain open because in the <laughs> This one is always shut, at least for all the Singapore 737s. But overall, almost perfect. Uh, there's another Singapore A350. And let's get another 777 to pseudo Singapore. Now, where is that China Airlines here? Bravo 18006. The livery has been changed many times by request. But what do you think of this one? It's more refined than the rest. Uh, yeah, the font. The font needs changing. And this serif, not just a single line for the number one. The, the stamp could be a bit higher. The SATCOM is gray, seen on the real plane there, but it's white, but in the real plane it's gray. Yeah, this, this could be bigger or a little bit lowered. But the rest looks perfect. Let's also teleport this, and there we go. There's Pseudo Singapore. I see an F-14. All right, so I eighteen thirty six. Yeah, the runway number is 1836, or, oh, it's, well, it's vertical, it should be, it's not, it's not 1836, it's, it's 220, yeah, 220, how come of this, and uh, there's, there's the neighborhood airport of Tanang, or Tanang, uh, how, I don't know how the Malay works. There's an... There's a... This one, this is obscure. And it's also 220. Now, where's the location on the map?
All right, it's close to the Lobotti, so I could have just flown my 737 MAX 8 as a courtesy. Oh, it's the Cernovo's already moved from Vagar. Alright, so I, I have to make a compromise when doing supersonic jobs. So it's it's not anymore possible to um descend on the way for Kyoko or <laughs> from Kyoko it's just you'll need to reroute. And that's about it. The islands of Adinapur. And there, the pseudo Singapore. Track. Apartment blocks. I'll we'll have to look at, take a look around at this. All right. So what planes do we have here? It's a K six hundred. It's a Stoichi that nuts it. See Malaysia. I thought they abandoned their order of of their the Airbus A330-900. Now oh, we got some details here. Regal Park. So this will be the new center, replacing Clarence. Clarence is just <laughs> unlike Kennedy. It's, they should have changed Clarence to Kennedy. Could have been more centered, but they just wide like Wardy of, of all airports. <laughs> Korean Air? How come? All right, concurrent players. And there's Derek, <laughs> the plane spot. Let me read my notes. All right. So before we teleport to Altac, here is a Qantas Airbus A330-300, registration, Victor Hotel dash, Quebec, Papa Hotel, VHS QPH. The name, the nose, 
It's obscure, but I just researched it beforehand. It's Noosa. So, in case of a potential A330 remodel, what do you think of this livery? Looks decent. And the wings ID. All these blacks and greys. It's probably an oversight after the <laughs> after some number of updates between <laughs> the release of the the recoverability for the Airbus A330 family. But the rest looks decent. Let's go to Altac. We're going to teleport to Altac and see our first boat release with this version. The Boeing 929 jet foil. So color one, this is the structure, and color two, it's the bottom, and three, the platform. Next is at Eisenhardt Air Force Base. How do I get to Eisenhardt? We'll use this <laughs> F-22A. It's uh, 91007.
the Sikorsky MH-60X Seahawk. Maritime helicopter. And so Cone 1 is really <laughs> the entire helicopter. All right, it's gray. Something like this. Oh, do you now? Yeah, it could be darker. Ah, why is this? If I press at the center, it'll, it'll be around like this. See? Look. See, like this, if, if I press the box, yeah, it just, it's off. So here is color one, and color two, yeah, where is color two? I just, I can't see it. It could be the armaments, and color three is probably also determined by Vance customization. So anyway, here is the Sikorsky MH-60X Seahawk. Oh, why did I come at the wrong timing? Right, and you can also convert it to the Black Hawk. Black Hawk. My notes were wrong. Yeah, that's not the Black Hawk. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it's somewhere else. Here, the convertible version, the convertible from the Seahawk, the MH60TJ Hawk. Yeah, sorry for confusing. It's The rescue helicopter. And uh, yeah, this is Caller 1. So here's a comparison. You can do Maritime Search and Rescue Dogs with the Seahawk. We have more functions with the Jayhawk. Yeah, there's two Blackhawk variants there. Uh, and still not on stock. Alright, the next one is at Horimoto Air Force Base. So, what should we use? We can use this one? On my main teleport down. So, Air China, Boeing 747-8I. I for inter intercontinental. And the tail registration, Bravo-2479. B2479. What do you think of this livery? As I said, I'll, I'll make a more detailed review of most of my aircraft with liveries in the future. Yeah, black facing the nose. Details. 
now there's no people buying Kanamoris for their own pleasure. <laughs> uh, uh, Chinese characters. What kind of font is used here? Is it consistent with the real aircraft? All right. This is here. A yellow rarity jet fighter. The Sukhoi Su Tritsat MKK. Into reporting name of Flanker G. The Su 30 or Su 30 MKK. Yeah, not. Yeah. There's your. Yeah, that's. Alright, Caller 1. Caller 1 is. No, so the fighters. Caller 2, the nose. Caller 3. The bottom. Or in this case, the landing gear, the gear doors. So it could be gray around here. It should be a darker shade, like this, approximately. No, yeah, I really don't like color wheel is so hectic. Like this, and this could be darker. The best approximation, the Su Tridsat MKK. Yeah, I said MKK before, but yeah, I mixed the Russian and Western naming of it. Yeah, I mixed the alphabets. So in the Russian, it would be Sukhoi Su Tridsat MKK. And if you want to proper English, the Sukhoi Su 30 MKK. The NATO reporting name. Flanker G. And you can also convert this to a Chinese production aircraft, where the variant is. Oh. Oh, not. It's. I'm not. I'm not the hangar, not the database. So. So, the, according to the notes, the conversion is the J-16D. The Shenyang J-16D, or Jia Shilu De. <laughs> the epithet is Chanlong. <laughs> so, what is Chanlong? Before we teleport to Lionham, 
here's a Boeing 737-7 MAX, or MAX-7. So it's a November 7201S. <laughs> Sierra. Yeah, November 7201 Sierra, or N7201S. Why do I always mix up, right? What do you think of this livery? It's not much detail. Forgot to put the text in the underbelly. And the inner sides, no lines. So max seven. All right, the medium bomber, the English electric Canberra. It comes with advanced customization as well. Let's check the search. It's a medium bomber. It's, so it's blue. All right, color one. It's, it's just the fuselage in the body. Color two. Let's just copy this. Oh. Okay, color two is the engines, and color three, the wings. And horizontal stabilizers as well. Should I buy it? It's just, not unless it's just armaments. Something inside here. Yeah, there's some armament. There's some. Um, yeah. For doors. Here's your Canberra. Okay, let's print screen this Van Hammer notification. We will teleport to <laughs> Linwood Joint Air Force Base. We will use this scale composites model 318 or 318. The nickname of the White Knight. And with its default livery, I call it default or official, it's a November 318 Sierra Lima. And 318 SL. So that's the first galactic logo. Scale composites logo too, then consistent flag facing forward. The achievements. Okay, that's should the white knight logo should be faced forward as well. This one is, but the right side isn't. So where's this? New vehicle. It's a boat, it's a plane. It's not one of those boats. Ah, uh, yes, this is white rarity. The Sikorsky UH 60 Black Hawk. That's the default production name. I know it's a Black Hawk, Jet Black. You know, the call one is really the entire plane, uh, the entire helicopter. And the color two is just the armaments or any additional done by advanced customization. And I'll leave it up to you, everyone, to look at the advanced customization. I'll have a little interest on this. But if you want, I can 
on another video. By request. Even let me mention the advanced customization features. I can have, I need, I can buy this from another player. Here's your UH-60 Blackhawk. And the conversion for this, let's also type black, oh no, 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 this is the database. This, this is the, need. not UH, it's S70. No, 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 not S70. How did I? Yeah, it's an advanced customization. Where's the UH60B? Yeah, yeah where's, there should be a UH60B according to the notes. Or it's, yeah, I think it's a part of the advanced customization. But we got an S70. Is the S70 somewhere here? Hmm. Ah, it's sold at Aukany. So it's a utility, this one is a military. So yeah, yeah, this is the, the one at Aukany is civilian. It's, this is not mentioned in the update notes, or I overlooked this. Let's we'll just go to Aukany. So we'll... Right, Aukany Island Airport. We'll use this Poker 100 with a special alliance livery, and I can notice already one mistake. The red tips on the fairings. But the rest look decent. Enough. All the details accounted for. The win of Australia, London, England. <laughs> yeah, cross miners. Yeah, Charles Kingsford Smith. Uh, under is this does this match the real aircraft? Let's now teleport to Novorals Air Force Base. But which vehicle can we teleport to? The suit, Vietnam, 
saloon class or the Arabian Simnasset. So let's take a let's take a look at this. Soon get this at similar three. Zero five three. Get this yeah three. Or no get three. Zero five three. What do you think? Can be further improved. And oh, wait a minute. Are these the ones? Yeah, it's a 710. So, what we have here, the Sukhoi Su Sat Se. Three sets, um, 237. All right, there's a lot of <laughs> releases here. So let's start with this one, or we could look at the remodel version. We can look at the remodel. All right, so. You've seen this before, the Sukhoi Sud WhatsApp Sim. SM. NATO reporting name, Flanker B. Make it quick, this is color 1, and uh, this is color 2, and color 3. So, 1, 2, and 3. Well, <laughs> next the Su three sat three, the flanker D. The carry base fighter. So, mention any difference. So, there's the Dwatsach Tire, Su Dwatsach Tire, Su Tony. Oh, no, no, come on, why am I looking at this? This, yeah, this is a different one. <laughs> I thought it was a jet fighter as well. Alright, so this comparison here is the Su Dwatsach Sim SM, and here's the Su. 3 sat 3 Flaker B, Flaker D Okay All right, someone wanted to let me try one better. <laughs> All right, so three shot three, the suit 33, suit 27, suit 33. Next, the fullback, the Sukhoi Su three shot The SU 34, or suit 34. A fighter bomber. And they're still not on stock. And the colors just reset. <laughs> so quick. Here's color one. And then color two. Color three. There we go. Oops, over here. And concurrent players.
and there's a Chinese production conversion for one of them, either the three century or the three century era. It's the J50. The Chan Shi Wu. So it's a conversion from the three century. It's Su three century, it's Su 33. The Shenyang J 15D. The fish. The fish. Well, they forgot this. They to reporting name the Flagger X2. For some reason. And always the color one is. <laughs> the color one's the body, color two maybe the nose. And, yeah, the same pattern. I think that's about it. For the new aircraft. And to take note, let's. Yeah, there's a. What else do we need? Alright. Let's look at the F 15. So, which one? Which F 15 should we use? This one by. Originally owned by Andrew. 64021. The anniversary livery. Instead of a normal livery. Oh no, we shouldn't be checking the leadership for Oh, is 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 it on stock? No, it's not on stock. Alright. What is the addition to this center line? It's one of the ASM-135? It's an anti-satellite missile. I guess that's about it. Just this missile. Now let's look at the Strike Eagle, and I only have one Strike Eagle. <laughs> yeah, this from the previous video. I was about to log more hours on that pity anniversary compared to the Strike Eagle too. So is there any changes or additions to the advanced customization? Oh yes, we got base variants. Right, just to confirm. Alright, so we got a Slam Eagle. There's a Cotter uh, exclusive, and there's a there's an Eagle 2, and there's the default option, Strike Eagle. So the changes to this the Slam Eagle looks like we got different rocket, different engines used, or different after burning engines used. And then for the, the Qatari variant, the Amabil, and there's another, what do you call these parts of the tail area? And you can also have this one, the F 15EX. Eagle 2. Could add some more missile. Yeah, more missiles. Yeah. Air miss yeah, these are air missiles. So strike eagle. There's the, the Eagle 2. We got some more armor. <laughs> more additions.
and you have a chance to convert it to the silent variant. The silent eagle, and you only require one hour, so that means you can just convert it to the strike eagle, and then you just need thirty extra thousand extra money. So my plan is to convert Andrew's plane. Let's see, does it require one hour too, or? Strike variant two hours. Oh, that's unfair. So you could just make it consistent. You just also need to, like two logged hours, and then to the silent eagle, it's just one hour. So it's instant. You, at the, you could have just made it a uh, like three hours log. So you only need one more hour. Yeah. Yeah, so it should say three logged hours on this plane, uh, on the Strike Eagle. So you can turn it into the Silent Eagle. Where is this Silent Eagle? It's an orange rarity. It's a prototype. So is there much use to this? So here's the Silent Eagle. So for reference, F-15C. And there's the F-15E. Look at the service ceiling. And then the side Then real quick, let's check an Osprey, the Billboing V-22. Yeah, this is the museum livery, and there's a squadron livery, 774. Let's use this. <laughs> we'll use this as our... <laughs> Why am I always looking at the dealerships? Yes. All right. So what is this addition here? Oh, glowing blades? Oh, these. This word the blade glowing. Oh, it's a special effect. It's you do this when you when you're operating the operating this in flight. I'm still <laughs> so recording. Yeah, I was Now, just answer this question. Yeah, was it this or something else? Because yeah, these already covered some previous updates, so yeah, just the glowing blades. You you'll see this in perhaps. So let's check out the remodeled ones, the raw sixty six. Okay, do you see any difference in the raw sixty six?
so what about the, the two hips? So the me for some tear. Any difference? Or the tear bear? Or the Z19, hitch for fall. You see any difference here? Oh, I, I already have one of them. I bought one. I forgot. Hmm. You see any visual differences? Alright, let's go to Unhealed City. Where's the SRN4? Use the key 700. Okay, so it's now 350,000 wins points and. Oh, Deleuze here. Hi, I didn't see any. There's, okay, so 36 capacity. And, uh, the range has increased, and there's still maximum. Just, that's just double the price and uh, capacity. So 350,000 from, uh, is it 175? And uh, 18 to 36. I'll have to confirm. Oh, it's just asking for the Kaya part two. Well then. What else? Alright. So, the two airports in the Kyoko area. Let's, let's. So, we'll use start of Keyball Space Center, the Pseudo Kennedy Space Center. We'll use this F15. It's a JC. Or what, what's, what's this? Is it F fifteen JC or is it F fifteen CJ? I have to look at the Japanese production. Is it production made? Is it made in Japan or is it American made? So let's see. Is there any change to Kibo or change to Kennedy? Ah. Parked aircraft. Meet that. Alright, so we got some static aircraft. These Mitsubishi. Alright, there's uh Alright, there's mostly Strike Eagle. <laughs> Not Strike Eagles, these are Super Hornets and there's um, Falcons. Yeah, it's just, yeah, Hornets and Falcons. So I'll teleport to Kashio. Pseudo Chofu. And what should we use? We can use this, yeah, and this misidentified Embraer 190. And the tail registration is a uh, Juliet Alpha 218 Juliet. And from my research, uh, 218. That's um, it's not a 190. It's a 170. But at least, I'll change it to something else soon. And I'll ask someone to change it. But for now...
Now it's a full of everything. <laughs> yeah, that's the Sugoi. Just added. Show you what shit. Yeah. Yeah, parking space. As intended. And this is for the. For transporters. Uh, mostly helicopters and general aviation. Significant. Finally, let us teleport to Seraphim, the pseudo nerve base from <laughs> Shinseki. So, what plane should we use? Should we use this US and E? Or. Uh, No, I have to compare this to, I think the two and three are mixed up. I think there's some, we'll make a, yeah, sure, review. But we'll use this one, the Hypermach. I've crafted only once, and then I'd let someone log it to, like, 21 hours. I think it was Avia. Now, yeah, Avia Gob <laughs> logged much hours on this one. I'll give him some credit, but... Uh, you might help me change this livery from Prime Air. It's, it's inconsistent. It's not so detailed. I can be repainted. So let's see what the pseudo nerve base Shinseki Pagio has any change. Is that the it's not the the snowy air? What is this so-called something strange is happening? Okay, this is red. Looks red. Oh, we got a... Oh, we just have to die for the holiday. Now ah, there's... Out of the ordinary. Anomaly. But I guess it's just... This video with the view of oh what the heck? Somebody just crashed into the portal or the lightning arc, whatever, whatever this is. Whether it's a portal or not, other really dimensions. We'll, we'll edit here. Current players, type your your. Type your robot name in the comments so I can include you on my description. With that, I will see you on the next Aeronautica video. Sayonara!